In this video I will give short summary of much longer video about will hide fat dairy lactose and whey proteins help you to live forever young and to grow muscles. So again, uh, as always, I recommend you to download the presentation as PDF files from the link in the description. It will save your time. You can get to sources of information to develop your own opinion and make your, your own research and decide what is good for you or what is not. Because I am not medical professional, I just give you information and uh, I propose you decide for yourself. So what works for me maybe will not work for you. But again, uh, this part of the presentation about growing muscles, I believe, important because uh, I consider uh, two things. Pulse pressure, uh, it is the difference between uh, systolic and diastolic pressure, and uh, growing of muscles is ability to grow muscles. I consider that some kind of measures of your biological age. If you can grow muscles in older age, it is a sign of rejuvenation. And also if you have pulse pressure low, then also it, is, it shows uh, the rejuvenation of cardiovascular, uh, cardiovascular system. So I use it as measures, as surrogate measures of the biological age instead of uh, the so-called uh, measuring average uh, age of cells in your body. This, my uh, approach is much different from what is established in the research related to longevity and aging. So let's go. I will give this uh, summary which was made with uh, uh, this chat GPT and uh, so I use uh, artificial intelligence and chatbots a lot in my research. It is big help. But if you just ask general questions like how to grow muscles and how to extend lifespan uh, from uh, this chat GPT or other uh, chatbots, you will not get answer because all what uh, chat GPT is uh, doing, uh, giving to you, it is uh, material which is uh, officially approved by medical professionals, especially WHO. So it is, uh, again, in my opinion, because my goals are much different from from uh, just improving health, it is again um, that I rely on uh, that peer-reviewed uh, scientific publications, and I rely on science, and I also make some logical conclusions with what I see. Okay, let's go to this this uh, short summary. So this presentation discusses uh, also it's my, my uh, personal uh, view on the diet, focusing on health improvement and radical lifespan extension. The also it's me and it rejects, re rejects uh, traditional healthy diets recommended by medical professionals for favoriting a carnivore diet and proposing a diet that mimics uh, human breast milk uh, that mimics uh, human breast milk for potential rejuvenation benefits. They also uh, ex example, uh, emphasize the importance of elastin fibers in the extracellular matrix for maintaining tissue elasticity and longevity. Such opinion is contrasting with the prevalent view that cellular aging is the primary cause of aging. Further, the author draws in insights from NACMO rats no, uh, known for their unusual longevity and stable skin elasticity with age. They also proposed a hypothesis to answer the question why do neck rats live much longer than other rodents of compatible size? And then the discussion delves into the benefits of lactose present in dairy products, highlighting its role in energy supply, gut microbiota uh, health, uh, muscle growth, and the prevention of uh, the various diseases. They also suggest that lactose, when consumed with whey proteins, may stimulate insulin secretion, promote cardiovascular health, and improve elasticity of blood vessels, intensify blood flow, potentially aid muscle growth in the elderly. The text further explores the composition of human breast milk, emphasizing the benefits of whey proteins, particular leucine content uh, in, for muscle health and growth. It addresses potential issues with casein protein, uh, proteins, specifically in cow milk, and their association with autoimmune responses in some individuals. So finally, they also suggest that incorporating high-fat dairy, lactose, and whey proteins into the uh, ketogenic diet, along with an active lifestyle and endurance exercise, may contribute to preventing sarcopenia, promoting muscle growth in the elderly. 
and it, if combined with important supplements, analytics, and vitamins such as a diet potential, such a diet potentially extends human uh, human life. And please mind that the author, that's me, is not a medical professional, and this presentation only expresses my personal opinion based on scientific publications in peer-reviewed journals. Yet it is it cannot be considered as medical advice. More research is necessary. So you see, in this video, I again as, uh, emphasize the importance of uh, diet, which is um, which uh, adjusted to mimic. Uh, human breast milk, it means it is very different from carnivore diet or even ketogenic diet because uh, infants are getting 40% uh, uh, of the energy from carbohydrates. It is exactly lactose and lactose uh, sugar is very, very special. And I believe that uh, from scientific publications and uh, other research, it is very important for health and we have to, uh, to add uh, lactose and whey proteins uh, to dairy product and to then to adjust this uh, consumption of dairy product. It's not only dairy product, but as I said, it is fortified uh, diet, uh, fortified with uh, uh, more fat and with lactose and whey protein. So it is not uh, drink, just drinking milk or it is not just uh, uh, dairy products. Because uh, my goals, as I said, it is much different from improving health. And when uh, enthusiasts of carnivore diet, they, they uh, propose to in exclude uh, the dairy product, or especially high-fat dairy product, I propose different because my goal is, is different. My, my goal is not to be on fat. I, uh, it's, I, again, I, am, I have no, nothing, uh, no problem with uh, getting some healthy fat, not on belly, but on, like, on my legs. But if I see that uh, pulse pressure, it is difference be between uh, systolic and diastolic uh, blood pressure is uh, shrinking. And this is a sign of uh, rejuvenation of cardiovascular system. And if I see that my muscles and strength are growing, it is definitely indication of some improvement in my cardiovascular system and improvement that, uh, which is related to rejuvenation. So, uh, and instead of some injection of stem cells and using some uh, Yamamaka factors to, to, uh, to, uh, um, uh, to reduce uh, average uh, cell uh, age of cells in our body, I rely on different idea, different uh, hypothesis. So my, my proposal and my way of research is much different from what, is, what dominates in this area, what dominates in the opinion of the official uh, medical professional. So you see it, the, the, uh, the, this presentation is very long. I rely on my conclusions on uh, nature, observation in nature. It is, uh, it is related to uh, long life or span of beds and some beds and uh, this snake more rates and this uh, yeah, some birds. Uh, so I, I compare this uh, species with this, which rely on plant-based food. And then you see difference how much the diet, uh, which is based on, uh, for example, make more red, they consume uh, in old age, uh, middle chain essence uh, mostly. And uh, then, uh, of course, uh, they get it different way, but we can get middle chain uh, fatty acids from butter and from cow milk, because again, the cow milk gives us not all what we need, but some quite number of uh, uh, very beneficial for our health uh, uh, supplements or, or components. Okay, then I compare these reds, uh, short living reds, and uh, uh, make more reds, and, and, and uh, then its difference is visible, and then I make a conclusions and I go deeper to the role of lactose. Of course, uh, not only uh, short, uh, short chain fatty acids and uh, middle chain fatty acids are important for uh, longevity, but also I believe that uh, lactose in milk is important. Uh, and I underline the big difference of uh, lactose content in uh, human breast milk and uh, milk of other animals like cow and goats. And uh, then uh, I believe that we have to adjust our uh, diet uh, to include lactose in quite big amounts, quite considerable amount, not as, uh, as much as uh, this uh, infants are consuming, but it's again, role of lactose is huge actually to, in, to improve our health and to grow muscles, I believe. So again, you see it is very uh, big 
uh, long presentation. It is two hours, almost two hours long. And uh, then I go to this uh, dangers of uh, consuming casein from uh, milk. It is it can it can have some allergic reactions. Why? And uh, I explained why because we have this uh, uh, leaky gut syndrome. Even young uh, even young uh, babies can develop uh, leaky gut syndrome. And uh, if they don't consume breast milk, but instead they use formula, which is uh, based for on um, whey, on the uh, whole milk, whole milk, uh, whole milk powder and other ingredients, it is not working very well for infants even. So you have to be very careful about what I consume and to avoid this uh, uh, inflammation in your guts. And uh, it is proven that lactose is very, very healthy. So despite uh, uh, that some specialists <clears throat> recommend to uh, avoid consumption of raw milk and avoid consumption of uh, dairy products rich in uh, fat and rich in uh, vapor in lactose. Uh, my, my opinion is different, but again, make your own research, decide, and uh, then again, uh, this I, I consider the problem, the advantage of whey proteins uh, to grow muscles and to ignite. Uh, insulin, uh, higher insulin, and again, insulin is very important also for uh, growing muscles, and it is nothing, nothing bad, but whey proteins are very good uh, to grow muscles, and okay, and then I give quite a number of uh, uh, peer-reviewed research, I rely my opinion on them, and uh, but also I ha have to remind you that I'm not a medical professional, I'm scientist, I'm professional scientist, this is why uh, I work on uh, peer-reviewed publications, and but even in peer-reviewed uh, publications, I make, uh, I can, uh, with my experience, we, uh, I can separate uh, publication which is paid by pharmaceutical companies and uh, some, and can separate truth from some propaganda. So I, I rely on good facts and also as it is uh, not only in my sci in doing science, what I do, I make uh, literature review and then make some conclusions and try uh, to check these conclusions, these recommendations or uh, this in practically in experiment and I use my own body for experiments and if I see improvement then okay then I go further at this confirmation that uh, I, I, I'm doing it right. But again what works for me maybe will not work for you. I have no support so you can press like and bell buttons or subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Uh, again, this would be at least some support of my project. I'm not getting any money from, from uh, my, my work, but I'm interested because I benefit uh, from these results. And especially if you ask questions in the comments, yeah, it is also very helpful because all my life I was working with students. Most, not all, but uh, most when I was uh, in academia, I worked with students and if students are smart, the questions of the students are very helpful to go deeper in, in my own research and to get results. So it is, again, if you can help, this would be a way to help. Okay, thank you for your time and uh, please, uh, uh, if you have time to watch all this uh, long presentation uh, for two hours, okay, you're welcome. If not, just download the presentation and again, I underline that I, I want to uh, express that my opinion is much different, not only from uh, medical professionals, but much different from uh, enthusiasts of carnivore diet and uh, ketogenic diet is much different because my goal is different. It is not only health uh, improvement, but I, I go, I, I think how to improve health and to live like a few hundred years or maybe some thousand years. I believe it is possible. I explain why it is possible in all my presentation. Again, the surrogate measures of uh, rejuvenation, I believe muscle growth and this pre, uh, pulse pressure. So if both are improving, then then uh, you, you can use these parameters also instead of pay, paying big money for uh, uh, for measuring your, uh, your age uh, of the cells, which is expensive, few, few thousand American dollars per advance. You can measure your uh, pulse pressure every day or few, few times a day. And if you wait a little bit, you will see how your weight um, uh, changing in months or two. 
and you can make conclusion it is working or not so it is again in biology everything uh, that takes time but at least uh, making a change a chicken uh, blood pressure and uh, it is easy and not expensive uh, and I, I tell you that uh, you can do it you can do it okay thank you for your time and uh, please uh, mind that there is this presentation and big uh, video coming next uh, Saturday okay ciao ciao